Hey everyone, today we're back with a SAT English, SAT writing and reading practice question. So the first thing we want to do when we start off with any sort of English question is we have to actually read the question. That's right, skip the paragraph and go right to the question, which we have right here. So then it asks, which finding about the basin, if true, would most directly support a conclusion? And it'll usually have the word concluded in the passage, usually towards the end. So we found that right there. Cardenas and Lamb concluded that the wet and warm scenario is likely correct. Now, what is the wet and warm scenario? Now, on the SAT, you are not going to have any knowledge of any sort of science or social studies topics. You'll just need to be able to use English skills for the English section. So the wet and warm scenario will be described in another part of the passage. Now, let's go back and read the passage and see if we can figure out what the wet and warm scenario is. It looks like here we're talking about Mars which might have once had liquid water. And the wet and warm scenario represents a prolonged phase of warm, wet conditions. Now, which of these answer choices is going to best represent a climate with warm, wet conditions? Well, if it's short-lived, then we can probably outrule A, because we see here we have this word prolonged, which kind of conflicts with short-lived. So it's not A. Let's look at B. It is surrounded by channels that could have been formed either by running water or by flowing lava. Well, lava isn't really directly supporting our claim, so we can outrule B. Especially because of this idea of either, meaning that it's really not a very direct correlation between flowing water and flowing lava. C. It has features suggesting that it once held an ocean that underwent gradual sea level changes over an extended time. Now this one would make sense. Why? Because this prolonged thing is true. We can say prolonged is true. If there's an ocean, obviously we're going to have warm, wet conditions. Now let's take a look at D, just to make sure that we can outrule D. D talks about an asteroid or a comet impact. Nowhere in this passage is an asteroid or comet impact mentioned, so we can clearly rule out D. That means our answer here is going to be C. If we're looking for the difficulty of this problem, I would put it between easy and medium. I would say probably right about here. There are easier questions, but there are certainly harder ones. And if you're looking to practice this specific type of question, if you got it wrong, make sure to check out this bullet lid list. I would say that this would likely go under the command of evidence textual category, or in a broader sense, the info and ideas category. Thanks for watching.